In this example, we're going to determine the capacity of the, the cuts shown. And a cut in a, in a network uh, flow diagram separates the, the, the source um, from the sink totally. In other words, there should be through, when a cut is made, there should be no way or no path that can get you from, from S to T. So let's see, maybe let's have a look at the first two sort of obvious ones. So we've got the blue cut here, okay? Um, that cuts through edge SA, SB, and SE, okay? And these three edges, if they're cut off, um, will most certainly cut off um, the source from the sink. And so the capacity of the, of the blue cut, so we add up the, the weights of the edges that the cut goes through. So 270 uh, plus 320 plus 440, the capacity of this cut is 1030. Let's have a look at the red cut. So that's another cut that obviously um, separates the, the source from the sink. Uh, and that's a total separation, not a partial separation. A again, there's three edges that it passes through and all three edges are necessary to be cut off uh, in order to separate the, the source from the sink. So 300 plus 370 plus 530, so that gives us 1,200. Okay. And let's have a look at the, the purple cut here. Now, the purple cut does cut off part of the network, but it's not a total um, a, a total separation of S um, of S from T. Um, this purple cut here only cuts off part of the network. There is still a way to get from uh, from S to T. So this purple um, cut here, this is an invalid cut. Okay, so I might just put here as invalid. Okay. So that, that we, can't, we can't measure that one. We can't measure the capacity of that um, because that doesn't count as a cut. A cut must separate the source from the sink. And that leaves us now to the last, um, last cut. So the, the green one here. And it passes through quite a few edges. So it passes through this edge here, this edge here, this edge here, this edge here, and this edge here. Um, in fact, one of the edges though is unnecessary and not needed to be cut. In fact, if you look at edge AB, okay, this edge here, it's actually not necessary for this edge to be cut. Um, I'll explain why. Let's have a look at each of the other edges. SE, if we do not cut SE, but cut off everything else, there is a way to go from S to T. In other words, let's say this, this, um, this little part here was not cut off. We can go from S to E to F to D to T. There is a way to get from S to T, okay? Notice that I'm focusing on eliminating any possibility of getting from S to T, but not by cutting unnecessary edges and, and extra edges that do not need to be cut off. Okay, I think that's very important to note that. So this is a necessary one. So I might just put, a, put an X on that to say that that is most certainly a necessary edge. Um, AT, is that a necessary edge to cut along the green, uh, along the green um, line here? Uh, in fact, if we don't cut this off, then there's a way to get from S to T via A we can go S, A, T. So this one is most certainly a necessary cut as well. Uh, let's say we, we don't um, cut off A, C. So let's say this is open at this point here and everything else is cut off. So that's cut off, that's cut off, that's cut off, uh, and that's cut off. We can go S, A, C, T. So this one is a necessary cut. Let's say then we, we don't cut off um, this one here, okay? So edge AB, let's say we, we didn't cut this off, but all the rest were cut off. Is there a way to go from S to T? Well, let's see, we can't go this way. Uh, we can't go through A, so um, we can't go this way or this way, okay? And we can't go this way either, in fact, we don't even get to this cut here. So everything else is cut off, but we, we're not even able to get to this point because SB also happens to be a, a, a necessary or a critical, well, maybe you can use the word critical, but it's a necessary cut as well. This one here is unnecessary. In fact, this, this roadblock, this roadblock, this roadblock, and this roadblock here are enough and sufficient to cut off S from T. This one here is not necessary and we're not going to count that, okay? 
That also goes for cuts in uh, on edges that go in the opposite direction. In other words, going from sink back to source as well. So let's add up these four edges. Then there's four necessary um, these four necessary roadblocks. I thought about this another word that I, I like to use. So 440 plus 320. We're going to ignore this one because it's not a necessary cut. It, it's we can we can um, omit that one. Uh, 230. Uh, 230 plus 300 and we have 1290 okay you notice that each of these each of these three valid cuts uh, each of them the capacities are different in fact uh, and there are other cuts that that we could make as well um, and later on when we talk about the um, minimum cut maximum flow theory we'll find that there is a cut that will in fact give you um, the, a, a flow that is in fact the, the minimum flow, uh, the, the minimum cut that will actually give you, uh, determines the maximum flow of the network um, and the, the, the flow from source to sink.